What's up and welcome back. I'm Clark Can, the man of steel. Today, we have some paintless dent repair training going on here at the shop. I want to make a disclaimer. If you're a beginner, do not attempt this unless you've had the proper training. It is extremely dangerous. Leave a comment down below if you want to learn how to pull the largest damage in the world. If you're a new subscriber, put in the comment that you're a new subscriber and I will personally respond. Now, the man of steel and his students, we're about to save a bedside. My YouTube friends, welcome back to another PDR collision repair, better known as a hybrid repair. So I have a couple students here. They're in the background doing some chatting. We're gonna do some work on this frame rack. We're gonna pull this truck bed. And let me see if I can pull this, turn this camera around. So what are we looking at? We're looking at an 04 Chevy pickup. And you can see here, it was hit in the corner pushed up the bed, the tailgate is not lining up here. So I'll need to pull this, this direction and then get the corner going out that direction to line up that tailgate. Behind me, we're looking at towers. Those are 10 ton towers. And these towers will pull a mat truck. And this is a four ton tower. So we're gonna have fun today. Another paintless dent removal, extreme glue pull. All righty, we're gonna get started. We have a time lapse going on this video. First step, we racked the truck and we chained it down. It is cleaned and prepped. Next step, placing PDR hot glue tabs, getting them in position for some monster pulls. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or even a body repairman wanting to learn paintless dent repair, I have a special gift for only my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, you will not have a chance to win. Here is the offer. The subscribers that share my YouTube videos the most and comments the most this year will win a weekend training with the Man of Steel. It's simple. Just hit the share button next to the like button forward the video to your Facebook, Instagram, wherever you already hang out. You can take screenshots and keep a tally. Next bullet point, student number one, getting ready for the third step. We're placing eye bolts through the cables and chains, attaching them to the frame rack tower. This frame rack is so powerful, it can rip a frame right in half. Whoa, 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 let's see that monster pull again. This type of repair, you can't use a rod or a flat bar. Clark Ken has to use the bigger tools. The little flat bars we use later. We just used the hustler stick for the monster pull by the wheel. We left tension and hit around the dent using some blending techniques. What you're seeing and hearing today is the future of PDR shops. You guys and gals wanting to start a shop, you can lean on the leader, Clark Ken, to help you along. My students today, they can go into any area, my area, your area, and take over. If you turn down work because the paint is damaged, they will come and fix it. These guys are wanted. They are living dangerously. They are chasing that green paper and stacking it. Some of you guys want to stick with those door dings and minor dents. That's great and fine. If you're wanting to move forward on your own with the bigger dents and lack confidence, well, in order to gain confidence, you will need to put in the work and put in some practice time. We just removed the tension from the cables and going in with additional auto body techniques, restoring the shape. My students and I were taking turns with the blending hammer and knockdowns. We just taped the dolly in place directly behind the deepest section. Yeah. 
In the beginning, we were not able to get a tool in there. That corner was completely collapsed. The spot welds were broke. The skin directly underneath the tail light had two rips. What's up, my YouTube friends? We've passed the midway point, and I gotta tell you, I am so proud of my students. They are pulling so much metal. However, there's more metal we need to pull. So uh, let me turn this camera around. The bedside will need to be repainted. The bigger picture, the class subconsciously, they learn not to be afraid of extremely large damage. My mental frame, your mental frame. We're wanting to become the best versions of ourselves. That means every day getting better. It is a constant quest, trying new positions, running new tests. I will even blend and push with my opposite hand, then go back to my right hand, finding new ways. Student number one and student number two. We are taking turns using a variety of different knockdowns and a single bend. We use two different flat bars for the easier light work. In this step and method, we continue bringing up the low areas. We grab the blending tools to knock down the high points. The single bend bar fit nicely behind the bottom corner. We started with the soft tip, then we went with the sharper tips, bringing up the mini micro dings or low spots. We had to leave the stabilizing bar in place. The pressure was needed to keep the metal from pulling away. That's where the spot welds were broke. You can see the ripped gouged metal on the top section. We are saving something the critic said that couldn't be saved with paintless dent repair. Dent life lessons. We need to apply them daily. Growing pains and pleasures. That turns us into pillars of excellence. Continue to be obsessive, consumed with our passions. Now you're getting an inside look how we save or fix truck beds. My students walked away that day wore out. Both brain and body bent, however, not broken. Student number two, I could not get him off the truck. He wanted to keep pushing. We restored the overall shape. The bedside will need to go to the welding station, then the filler and to repaint. I'm wanting to thank you for coming along. You guys know what to do next. It's time to smash the like button, sub and notification button. I will see you when I drop my next video. In the meantime, you guys continue forging your future. I'm signing off.